how you will love this garlic bread it is really amazing this is my garlic and my butter 80 grams of butter i'm going to pop them into my microwave just to soften my garlic a little bit and also soften my butter now i'm in the uk and the weather here is very cold your butter can be very very hard if you know what i mean especially if you've had it in the fridge for a while so when you put it your garlic is going to be soft when you keep it in your microwave in your microwave don't leave it for too long so that i don't get burnt i'm adding chopped parsley and basil and a little bit of chili flakes it's optional you can just use parsley but the combination is something else so i'm going to mix all of this together with my butter and set aside now this is my bowl i'm going to add in warm water then i'm going to add in my yeast then i'm going to add in my sugar and just half half teaspoon of salt after adding it together i'm going to mix it together then add in my melted butter now this garlic bread recipe it is no need it is the easiest garlic bread you can make because you are not needing so just relax you're not going to stress yourself i'm going to add in my melted butter to the yeast mixture you can decide to use your normal butter and just add it to your flour but me i just wanted it to be as much as possible no need so i'm going to add in my flour into the mixture because of the butter and the warm water my flour was a bit soft so it's okay i'm just going to add in more flour i use two tablespoons of flour here and use half cup of flour subsequently to get my dough together from being too soft if your dough is too soft add more flour but if you do not want to use melted butter don't use more than 30 grams of butter and just add it to your flour or one tablespoon of butter add it to your flour then after adding my flour and getting my dough together my dough is no longer that soft i'm going to cover and allow it to proof for 45 minutes to one hour if you're in the uk heat up your oven for like 10 minutes Minutes, be turn it off then put your dough in there don't leave it on if not your bread will bake your dough will bake and it will become bread so after popping it into my oven that is warm for about 45 minutes my dough has increased in size it's going to be looking soft it is okay because i use melted butter i'm going to now divide my dough into equal parts i think i got like close to 10 equal parts or about eight thereabouts i'm going to divide it into equal parts and now roll it and set aside if this is your first time of stopping by my channel you're so welcome and if you've been here before good to have you here once again on this channel you learn easy recipes that you can make for you and your family to enjoy and this garlic bread this is the easiest recipe you can find in the internet i can tell you that now i'm going to now set my dough outside and go on to the next process if you have gotten to this point you are 50 percent done <laughs> i can assure you now i'm going to cover the rest of my dough just because of the weather to keep it soft and prevent the top from being dried after which i'm going to go on now to roll them one after the other and see how we get our garlic mixture into the dough now i'm going to roll there are two ways i'm going to roll so whichever method is convenient for you just make do with it this one i'm going to roll it this way to be a bit it's look over it's like an oval shape or will i say rectangular no more like an oval shape i'm going to spread a generous amount of my garlic mixture or my garlic and parsley mixture then sprinkle my yeast i'm using this cheese i'm going to put the kind of cheese i use it's a british cheese i'm going to put the kind of cheese i use in the description box do not worry but i advise to make use of any grated cheese of your choice it will be fine i just love this one because of the color i wanted it to add a touch of color to this recipe and it did just that so now i'm going to pinch it after rolling it all the way through and go on now to bend it at the edge and join it at the middle to form a round ball or to form a round dough and i'm going to go on now to smoothen it as much as i can and set aside so this is method one and if you say this one i don't think i can go on with this method let me see if i can try something different you are not going to go on now to try method two so this is after i've rolled it all together to make sure it's as smooth as possible and i'm going to go on now to do method two normally this dough is not going to look smooth because remember we do not need it kneading has a way of smoothening your dough and give it a more finished look but because this is no need you may not really experience that smooth texture but it's fine as long as it comes out delicious at the end of the day and it's easy for you to make then there's no problem now in this one you're going to roll it to make sure that your dough is round this is method two apply your cheese at the middle join it carefully with your fingertips until you can get all your dough together then i'm going to just pinch it pinch it around i think this one should be easier for you to try <laughs> i'm just going to pinch it around and after pinching it around i'm just going to smoothen it also the way i did with method one and that is it now i'm going to do this either using method one or method two to when i've exhausted my dough and this is some of my dough in my pan and i'm going to cover for like 15 minutes 
after 15 minutes i'm going to go on out to brush with egg wash egg wash you just need one egg and one tablespoon of milk then you brush your dough with it after brushing with egg wash i'm not going to sprinkle my cheese now this is cheesy garlic bread and i really want the cheese to be all over the place not just on the inside but also on top of the dough it gives it a very appealing an attractive look and you will attest to that at the end of this video if you have brought to this point and you have a thumbs up this video do thumbs up comment tell me what you think about this recipe do like and share and let's continue with this recipe so this is my dough i'm going to pop it into the oven and allow it to bake for 180 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees fahrenheit and this is what you get at the end of the day i'm not going to brush with melted garlic and parsley mix after brushing it i'm going to now let's see how this recipe looks now this came out so beautiful the cheese gave its own color the parsley and the garlic the taste is heavenly you need to try this recipe and tell me what you think so now i'm i took it out of my pan because i don't just want you to imagine i want you to see how this recipe looks on the inside now look at this goodness a bite of this <laughs> i just reserve my comment because you need to try it i'm not going to tell you how it tastes but you need to try it the cheese the garlic the parsley and the basil the combination of parsley and basil these two vegetables has their own flavor that only a bite can tell thank you so much for stopping by my channel to like share and subscribe and see you in my next one bye bye good to have you here